Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video, we will discuss lead code question 2130 that says maximum twin sum of a linked list. So guys, today in this video, we will discuss multiple approaches and then at the end, we will try to find the most optimal approach to solve this question with a big O of one space complexity. So yeah guys, stick till the end and watch the complete video. Now here, you will be given one linked list of a size n where n is always even. Further, the ith node or zeroth indexed of a linked list is known to be twin of n minus i minus 1th node. So this ith node as well as this node n minus i minus 1 node are they both are twins. Right? And we need to find the maximum twin sum from among all the twins. So find maximum twin sum of the linked list. So the question is pretty much simple here. So let's say uh, here this is the linked list 5 to 4, 4 to 2, 2 to 1. Here the node 5 that is 0th index it would be twin of n minus 3 minus 1 see th this is what given n minus 1 minus i so if you compare this so this is 0 1 2 3 index 3 index 3 is a twin of 4 n is 4 minus 1 minus 3 so that is nothing but 0 so index 3 is a twin of index 0 as well as the index 2 is a twin of index 4 so these two are twins and these two are twins. Now what is the maximum sum? So sum of this and this is 6. This and this is 6. So yeah, overall maximum sum here we can say is 6. Got it? Now if you take a look at the second example. Now you might have got the idea by looking at the linked list that these two are twins and these two are twins. And the maximum sum is 4 plus 6 is 7. So we return 7 as our answer. Here in the third example, they only, there are only two nodes and they both are twins. So the answer is uh, addition of both them, both of them right so yeah the question is pretty much simple that um, for a, a zeroth index given ith node its next twin is n minus i minus 1 okay clear so yeah that way we can find the twin so if you are given something like n equal to 6 where see we can take 6 because 6 is an even so there are 6 nodes here in the linked list now who are would be the twins the first node and the last node the second node and the second node from the last third node and the third node from the last okay so these two are twins, these two are twins, and these two are twins, right? So I hope you guys have now understood that which nodes would be twins. The ith node from front and ith from back. Got it? Clear till here. The ith node from the front and the ith node from the back, they both are the twins. Now what is one way to do this? One way what you can do is, you can store the complete linked list in a vector vector like 1 2 4 3 7 6 you can store into vector you can keep in pointer i pointed here j pointed here sum them store the answer the increment i decrement j sum them store the answer increment i and decrement j so yeah you will sum these elements and check whether uh, the if the sum is greater than maximum sum previously or not so this is one way to solve this by storing the all the nodes in the vector so what would be the time complexity here the time complexity will be nothing uh, but big of n uh, plus big of n this would be the time complexity as first big of n would be to traverse link list traverse link list and store and second would be this right um, doing the sum and the space complexity here is also big of n as we have to store all n nodes inside the vector v so guys this is one approach to solve this question and here we are using big O of n space complexity. Can we reduce that? Yeah, we can reduce it in one way. So here in this approach, we have reduced the space complexity to big O of n by 2. And how? Let's see. So first, what we did is we find the length of the given linked list. So here after that, we got that n equals to 6. Now, then we took a vector of size n by 2. That is vector of size 3. Okay. Now we check, we took a pointer PTR, we took i pointer, i equals to 0 and this is our answer variable and this is PTR, we took PTR just to traverse the linked list. Now then we check, if i is less than n by 2, then what we did, we just added the value twin of i equal to the value. So this twin is a vector that we are using, so let's say i is, i is here at 0, i equals to 0, then we are doing twin of 0 equals to 1. Similarly, if i equals to 1, we are doing twin of 1 equals to 2, 
i equals to 2 then twin of 2 equals to 4 now when i becomes 3 that is this else condition because 3 is not less than n by 2 that is n 6 by 2 is 3 so 3 is not less than 3 then this condition would get it so here what we are trying to do we are simply trying to make n minus i that is 6 minus 3 minus 1 okay so that is nothing but twin of 2 only we are adding 4 plus 3 7 because uh, here i is 3 and n is 6 so 6 minus 3 minus 1 this is nothing but 2 and because this index 3 would be the twin of index 2 so we will add our answer or the current pointer value to the index 2 we will add right to the twin index got it clear till here because 6 minus 3 minus 1 is nothing but index 2 so these two are the twin we can we know now these two nodes are twin right next these two, two nodes are twin now if you see that here i is nothing but 4 so if you calculate 6 minus 4 minus 1 this is nothing but 1 so we will increment our answer in twin of 1 by 7 so we will increment by 7 into the index 1 because we know this and this are the twins so similarly we will add answer to this and this and for each time we will also check for the maximum answer maximum uh, from the pre answer that was stored previously and the current node that we are adding right so i guess this way by reducing the vector size to half we only store half our nodes initially and then we increment the value of other half or the twin node to the original vector right we will simply increment the value in the original vector so here the space complexity is big of n by 2 and the time complexity is uh, we can say the same is 2n because we are looping two times for the complete link list now guys can we again reduce this space complexity so what one thing you can do is you can reverse a half of the link list you can reverse this half of the link list and if you reverse it then how you would solve this let's see okay so first we need to find a point at which we can start the uh, start reversing the link list and that point would be nothing but the point present at the midway of the link list so yeah to find the midway of the link list we will use slow and fast pointer now how this slow and fast pointer will help us to find the midway because slow here moves only one step fast pointer moves two steps so whenever this fast pointer reaches the null the slow pointer would be at the mid of the link list let's try to see let's say this is the slow pointer and let's say this is the fast pointer okay initially slow and fast both are at hand now in the next iteration slow will move to here whereas fast move to here in the next step slow will move here and fast will move here after this there is nothing but null here so fast will move to this null whereas slow will come here slow will come here okay so this this link list we have to reverse right this part of the link list we have to reverse because this is the starting point of the other half of the link list so guys what we will do is we will store the current uh, the slow pointer inside the current so let's say this is the current we will store previous as null so let me take one previous as null and let me take one next pointer also so let's say uh, there is one next pointer that is pointing to nothing okay now what we are doing we are making next equal to current of next so we are making so current is this so current of next is this pointer so this is our new next pointer now then we are updating the current of next equal to previous so this is where the reverse occur so this was the current of next right this was the current of next so instead of that we are breaking these and storing current of next equal to previous so that is null here because at this point previous is nothing but null but we are so we are storing the current node next equals to null then we are updating previous to current right now the new previous pointer is nothing but the current pointer and the current pointer is the next pointer so this is our new current right okay now further what we are doing we are again updating the uh, loop again begins and we are again updating next to current of next so yeah this is our new next pointer then we are changing current of next to previous so this was the current pointer so we are removing this and changing the current of next to previous so we are changing this to this so guys this is how we are reversing 
we are we have reversed this right correct so we have re reversed this and then we simply update the new previous pointer to this and afterwards uh, when the again loop will begin we update the next pointer the next pointer would be nothing but pointing to null now then we change current of next to previous so initially current of next was nothing but null so we broke this and we change it to previous right to 7 so we change this and then we simply updated the previous as well as next but no need to check that because the current is nothing but uh, pointing to next and next is nothing but pointing to null so yeah the while loop ends so guys after this what would be our linked list our linked list would be nothing like this this will point to null so yeah uh, one will point to two two will point to three uh, this node and this one will point to this node now but this six will point to this seven seven will point to three whereas three will point to null this is now the current linked list okay now after this what we will do we will simply take one i pointer and one j pointer and now as we know they both are twins sum them right we will sum them and compare it with the maximum sum the increment the i decrement the j sum them and check with the maximum sum and similarly traverse this way because this re re link list is reverse so we can traverse in this direction and here we can traverse in this direction and at each point i and j would be the twins right so yeah guys this way by reversing the link list we can traverse in both the direction in the from left to right as well as right to left and check for twins at each point so yeah guys now the space complexity here would be nothing but big of one as we are not storing anything we haven't used any vector here but all the time complexity is nothing but big of n for this uh, this would be actually n by 2 plus big o of uh, we are reversing half of the link list that is n by 2 plus traversing i and j so this value will also take big o of n by 2 time complexity so yeah guys this is the time complexity for this approach so yeah that's all for this video so we learned that by reversing a link list we can solve this question in big o of 1 space complexity so yeah guys that's all for this video if you guys have any doubts then do let me know in the comment section make sure you like the video and subscribe to our channel thank you